Hi, Jared Doyle here, Doyle Audio Engineering, and this is our Nitro 412. A uh, small little box for a 412. It's physically as small as it can be without sacrificing tonality in terms of its depth. Um, but what I want to show you, uh, regardless of whatever 412 that you have, is what we call a series parallel wiring. Okay? So um, this is very, very common type of wiring uh, that you would, how you would go about wiring up uh, 412s. There's a number of uh, diagrams out there that you can get on the internet, which is really great. I suggest you get one, because I don't think I'm going to put one together for this, but I actually wanted to show you hard straight on what's going on here. Okay? So uh, let's zoom into the jack plate right here. Okay? In the jack plate here, um, Mario, can you come closer, please? Get right, get, get right in here. Okay? In this jack plate, you see two quarter-inch jacks uh, at the tip of one, uh, what we call the tip of the jack is uh, where you see the red line, and that's what we call our hot. And at the bottom of the jack, which is the main sleeve of a quarter-inch jack, that is where we have our ground. Okay? Now you see two red lines that are literally tied together, and that is what we call parallel when two lines are actually connected. Two red lines that are our positive lines that are going to go to our 12 inch drivers are there tied together and then you also see the two black lines. The two black lines are also in parallel and tied together. The black lines is what is our ground. Okay, so let's take a look here. We've got two red lines, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, their uh, that these two are going to go to, as you can see here, the positive of the twelves at the very top. Okay? And then these two lines in parallel are going to go to the left and right side of the lower drivers, which is the ground uh, at the bottom. Okay? So now I'm going to bring in the drivers and show you how they're connected. Okay. So we'll start off with this fella here. Uh, this is a Celestian Vintage 30, a beautiful speaker. Here we're going to uh, the positive of that woofer right there. Here we've got our red line here, and we are going to uh, put this on here. Now I'm holding the other side of it too. Okay. I can feel that went on really, really nicely, nice and tight. Now we're going to put the ground line coming off the ground of this woofer here, right here. Now take a look at this line. This is what we do at our company, and uh, I don't know of other companies how they're going about doing it, but we put a knot here. This knot's going to tell me that that's going to be positive going into the positive of the next speaker down. So. Again, I hold this. This is unfortunately just a hard cardboard. There, that's on really nice and tight. These crimps are working great. I'm very happy with them. Um, so now we've got a line here. I know that that's going to be my hot to my next speaker. Okay, uh, we'll go like so. Drop that driver down into here. Okay. Now, you've also noticed that we're using a, a gasket here. This is uh, one that we make, put on by hand, and uh, it's set up perfectly for this. Really nice uh, closed cell gasket, line it up to the driver there. Now, I reach down, and there's my ground wire, and there is my hot wire. Okay, remember, if, if this is coming off of the ground of this to the positive of the next speaker. This is what you call wiring this side of the cabinet in series. Yet, because the two grounds back here and the two hots up here are in parallel, you get what's called series parallel. Okay. Remember, not is on the hot line to here. Okay. Now 
That's a nice tight fit. I like that. Very happy with these crimps. Okay. So there you got your hot and you got your ground. Okay. And then you just pop it right on like that. Line her up. And now we'll do the same with the other side. Same idea. That'll go to the positive of this side. I've got all these. And there's the negative. It'll be to the negative of that woofer, the positive of this woofer. Okay. Remember, positive here is in parallel with positive there. Parallel means that they're together. And there's my line there. Again, I got a knot in that. So when you look at it here, it looks common, and that's coming off of the ground of this side of the Celestion. See how I'm holding this paper here as I'm pushing this on so I don't physically rip that paper or, or break it. Okay. Drop that inside there. Put that fella down there. Reach through here. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Put a lot of braces in our cabinets as you can see. Everywhere here is uh, braced. And there it is. There's my hot. There's my ground. Now this is really, really great. Um, I found that these tabs are a little loose, which is a really great thing to be able to show you something right now. Right here at the bottom, towards the bottom of the crimp, I'm going to give it a bit of a squeeze with my needle nose. Some uh, crimps, when you're taking them on and off, they can loosen up. Oh, I felt that snap on really, really well there. It's nice and strong. <laughs> and here we're going to do the same. Take a look at where I'm squeezing it, towards the bottom end of it. Just a gentle squeeze. If you overdo it, you won't get the crimp to go back on. And you'll feel it snap in place really nicely. Okay, great. Excellent. That's working out good. Uh, lines are a little tight on this side. Good. Going to put it right in like so. And there you got it. Now watch the path. The signal comes positive, comes into the top driver here and the top driver there in parallel. And then it travels through the voice coil of the woofer, out of the ground of these two top woofers, and then into the positive of the lower woofers goes through the circuit of the lower woofers, the coil, and then comes off of the ground and then returns to the jack. This way in series and across here, two hots in parallel, two grounds in parallel, series parallel. Hope that helps you. So next time when you look at a diagram, you can relate it directly to the speaker. Okay, thanks a lot and hope that helps. Cheers.